Hello everybody, welcome to another Let's Play of FTL. Uh, I'm the modder Chu, and last episode was a, almost a complete failure. Pretty much got to Sector 2 or 3 with the Stealth Cruiser, which granted it is a difficult ship, but I was just sloppy and made a lot of silly, silly errors. So now we're going to be playing on the Mantis ship, and this ship always reminds me of like a lobster or a crab or anything, so I'm going to go ahead and call it the lobster roll. The lobster roll, yeah. Very intimidating, you know. We're going to be boarding people and they're going to be attacked by essentially lobsters. So our captain's going to be, of course, lobster himself. Lagardi. Um, I'm going to call him... Ferrari. That was, that was... Lagardi reminded me of Lamborghini, but I don't think that would even fit. So Jason, that's pretty good. Jason, no, not Jason. Well, you know. Jason and uh, Allison's gonna be our bitch NG, so I'll just call her Lila. She's gonna be doing all the work, fixing stuff, cleaning up after the real men who go on board the ship. <coughs> Started. Gotta put everyone on their position. So I'm gonna have Lila probably go to engines. Yeah, because. Those are generally what I want to keep when I send my boarding crew over. Ferrari and Jason can be wrecking shit. Lobster will be, uh, of course, flying the lobster roll. And what do we have for weapons? Small bomb and basic laser. Uh, it's kind of awful to be honest, but it's okay given that we have a teleporter, so. The beginning should be relatively straightforward, unless, of course, we find an automated ship. So I'm gonna have to use a bomb to get rid of their shields, and then I can power up the basic laser and hopefully, hopefully I hit. Okay. So now I can just deal damage and it should be pretty straightforward. I'll go for weapons first. Obviously I don't want to teleport on because uh, because there's no oxygen in the auto scout ships and it'd be very tragic if my guys were to suffocate to death on that ship and of course we miss so further prolonging this ship's death. They miss too. Hopefully you don't cloak. Okay we got it just in time. Then we go for the cloak next. Auto ships with cloaking are very annoying. They're, they might be one of my least favorite ships to fight. They just have ridiculous evade and they'll often have a lot of stupid shields and stuff. The cloaking stone, they can't cloak like little bitches, and we can continue to fire at the hull. The helm, rather. And miss, of course. And now they eventually got their weapons back up, so I'm gonna go ahead and go for that. This looks like they're gonna time it. I'm not. <sighs> Should have kept their shields down. That was that was silly of me. Let them repair it. Auto ships will repair their systems, although, and I missed. They will repair them, even though they have no crew or anything, but it will be very slowly. And since all I have is a laser that fires like one damage every eight seconds or something like that, it's gonna take a while. I'm not gonna miss an hour. Okay, good. Is everyone hurt? Everyone's fine. For the helm, hope we won't miss. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the cloaking because that's just obnoxious. And then the helm next. And after their next cloak, probably we'll kill them. So let's uh, keep my keep.
keep my guys in uh, tip top shape while we wait. Can't have them be getting lazy because they're taking a big long break. And we got some extra stuff from the station nearby, which is nice. Okay, so they have a beam drone and a basic laser. This is not that bad. I'm actually going to teleport them on to their weapons. Hopefully we can get rid of that soon. Is this gonna damage me? Okay, good. That was good. This is a pretty bad setup that they have. Like the beam drone can help. But it's very rare that it'll actually attack something. And Jason was very close to dead. And we got a pike beam, which is that is excellent. Let's get everyone back on the ship. Get them healed up. So what do I want to do with that pike beam? Uh, probably put that first. It takes two power. That's actually a really nice find this early. Probably try to upgrade weapons, but I know that they're really expensive for the second thing, so maybe not for a little bit. Let's jump to them again. And they're trying to get away, so I'm going to go for piloting. Close one, and it looks like we got him. Any more crew? Good. All right. So my boarding missions have been uh, very successful. No one's died yet, even though it's been pretty close. But these guys have gotten some good kills so far. they have completely 100 health that extra one health can can be make the difference sometimes oh, this has no shield so that's very simple basic laser took off oxygen because I'm failure with hotkeys but I think it's good to learn them in this game is only only one damage it's not too bad and they missed that uh, bomb let's keep going for weapons because they're dangerous Dangerous things are still online. Now they can't hurt us, so I'm gonna go for for the helm, so we don't miss. Make this go a little faster. As you can see, we missed right there. Probably hit the next one though. If I aim at the right room, of course. Go back at ammo in case they. Or weapons in case they repair like they just did, and then engines. This is a really straightforward fight. I really like the Mantis cruisers. Because uh, this having a teleporter and man and a mantis team on both of them is really fun. I enjoy having the teleporter. Pretty good ships nonetheless too. Okay, so I can either go to the store and buy something or I can just skip them because I have decent weaponry for now. And it's not like I want anything to sell and just upgrade weapons. I think I'm gonna do that. So I can get the pike beam up or both the basic laser and the small bomb. And I'm gonna look to upgrade it once more. I'm just trying to get away. Yeah, they are. Are they sending a boarding drone at us? They are. Okay. I mean, that shouldn't be that big of an issue. I think. 
gonna go ahead and small bomb them. Go ahead and board there. I don't think they should have too much crew. And is it going? Oh, it's going to uh, oxygen, unfortunately. Let's go send my crew to help them out. I'm gonna use a small bomb. Oh, they breached that too, which is unfortunate. I don't think they have. Oh, they do have a little bit more crew. micromanagement and uh oh god this guy needs to get healed there's a breach and i got them we got a map and 13 scrap which is not the best but at least no one died right <laughs> let's get my ng fixing this room up open all the doors so the air can vent out Let's get our NG healed up real quick. Yeah, so the the third power uh, system upgrade to weapons is actually really cheap. So I'm probably going to get that soon too, so we can get both the basic laser and the pike beam up, so we'd get to actually do something. I guess uh, do damage against the ship with one shield without using a small bomb. Very ineffectively, of course. Like, if we miss the basic laser, then we're screwed, but... Oh, they have a... They have a med bay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a small bomb on the med bay and then send my crew over because it's basically impossible to kill a crew off if they have a med bay because they'll just keep on perfectly... And I missed that. They'll keep on perfectly... Like getting out of the room just about just before they're going to die heal up and like it's almost impossible to kill someone when they're in the med bay so that's all set i'm going to put my basic laser on send my crew over do they have an anti-personnel drone of course they do that's not that fun And kill the crew off. We have more crew. I'm gonna take a long, uh, long way of doing this. Killed one crew off. I'm gonna heal up my crew. They're gonna probably fix the med bay. I'm actually gonna go ahead and destroy the shields and then. Up. Send my guys over again. And okay, so I depowered their anti personnel drone, which is good. Guy. Good. Oh. Forgetting that my guys have to heal. Let's see, can I upgrade weapons again? I can't. I'm gonna go ahead and do that as soon as it, like, as soon as I get more scrap. So we have a blue option with our engine crew, which is always nice. Gonna upgrade weapons with the extra scrap I got from that. And now we're not really reliant on um, using missiles, at least for the next sector. 
Sector 2 will have some shield, uh, some two shielded ships, but in general, it'll be like one. Hopefully I hit that, and I don't. Go ahead and use a pack. Send my guys over, I'll send them to... Weapons. They have a Mantis and a Human, which I'm kind of curious about why they have that, if they're a Zoltan ship, but... Whatever. Do we have any more crew? It doesn't look like it, so... Okay, good. Get Ferrari and Jason back up to health. Be nice to get another crew member so we can, like, man the ammo up. I don't think it's that necessary to have a crew member on shields until a lot later in the game when they have better burst lasers and stuff. And just more weapons in general. Yeah, this mission's easy, usually. Let's go to the next. Uh, I think I have, I didn't really look at it enough. And they took our shields down. That is not good. Okay, so I'm gonna want to, okay, we're gonna take some heavy damage. Ho hopefully they don't destroy our weapons. That'd be not good. Okay. And all right, that was, a lot of damage, but I think we might be able to avoid the rest. Except I sillily took damage there, but I got all of their systems down. Well, they still have, of course, this is this is really obnoxious, taking away a shield that's kind of very powerful at the beginning. We should be able to do it if we hit this next one, and we will because We will because... Oh, do we have a fire? We do have a fire. Saying we will because we the helm was uh, down. Please don't destroy the medbay. That'd be really annoying if I took unnecessary damage there. And we didn't. Which is excellent. And okay, so I didn't actually run out of time, which I'm happy about. And they just gave us a free halberd beam. Sweet. I might actually sell the pike beam for that. I need a better thing than a basic laser though because it's just... I mean, now I can get, out, get uh, rid of two shields if I upgrade my weapons. Which I think I'm going to go ahead and do. Yes, okay. So now I can get rid of the pike beam and use the basic laser and halberd beam in conjunction with each other. Do I want to go to NG or Zoltan? I'm going to go to NG because Zoltan shields block the, the boarding crews and of course that's a big, important part of the ship. Is there still fire? I thought I heard more fire. It's where the asteroid fields. Thankfully, we didn't die. There is fire still. Where is this coming from? Oh, it went in here first. Oh. Failure. And I took damage. Really stupidly. I'm going to go ahead and vent everything out. Everything's finally out. I, I'm surprised I didn't hear that. Everyone's healing up. 
Gonna need to repair soon. See, there's a store there, but there's also a store there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the distress signal, then the quest up above, and then if we have time, hopefully, the store. Got bad RNG right there, but no big deal. I can heal up. Let's see. They're giving us less than ideal. 25 scrap. I'm gonna refuse. Okay, I'll take the new offer. 40 scrap is pretty good. Can I, okay. Go to the store. We're probably gonna have to heal, so we do not need... We don't really have that much money to spend on stuff. Although I can sell the pike beam, because Halbert beam will take care of that, and honestly I don't think I'm going to have room for two beams at any point, because we only have three weapon slots. I might want to get the automated reloader, that's really nice. Or I could get drone control. I'm going to go ahead and get the automated reloader, heal up as much as I can. Let's see, is there anything else I'm going to want to upgrade? We, I'm probably going to get some engines next. That's what I'm going to spend my next scrap on. Let's go aid them. They're going to board us. That's no problem. I'm going to go ahead and board them. And I'm going to vent all of the air in our ship, except the med bay. Because I'm not really worried about them damaging our systems. I guess they could damage the oxygen, that'd be pretty bad, but... Okay, now they're in here, I can do damage. I'm going to go ahead and basic laser their shields, and then help be Halberd beam there. Uh, your teleporter. So they can't come back. Is anyone else on this ship? Okay, they're all on our ship, so the rest should be relatively simple. Kill them all, got a lot of stuff. Woo. And they ioned our med bay, so we can't heal yet. Let's get Lobster back in the pilot. Uh, Ferrari is already in their station. Get Lila to work engines some more. Redistribute our power. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade engines. Very cheap, and that extra evade is highly worth it. I probably want to get an extra layer of shields too if I can this sector. Can I booby trap it? Uh, I'm going to secure it. And we got a hull repair drone. That is excellent. Uh, that is very good. So I'm probably going to get drone control if I can. I don't know if I'll have enough time to go to the store. They probably they might have drone control, but I'm going to make some jumps because I cannot fuel it, afford it. And I will... <laughs> Definitely, that's an excellent offer. One one drone part for nine fuel, that is so good. And of course, I've been having a lot of trouble with fuel the past couple of run-throughs. So that's good. I feel really comfortable with two. 27. 27 fuel. And then again, we and we also, in the uh, beacon afterward, we got a second. Drone part and it was uh and I missed. Oh I don't even need the They have a upgrade like a uh again upgraded med bay of course for some stupid reason, so I'm gonna wait again to attack it.
Hopefully I don't miss this basic laser, and I don't, I can do damage. Okay, now I'm gonna send my people over. They only have two humans, I have two mantis, this is gonna be really straightforward. Easy win. Yeah, the mantis type B is also a really fun ship because You get a, a quad teleporter, so you can so send four uh, units on the. You can board with five, four units at the same time, which is. It's just like. It's so fun. You wreak havoc. And I have 80 scrap, so I might want to. I think I'm going to spend 55 on more dodge chance. Or I could save up and get more shields. Or I can save up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for the dodge chance, because it's cheaper. And I think in the long run, it'll help to get the cheaper upgrades, because I'll just basically lose less. Lose less hull damage and having to repair that stacks and everything. Is that the only crew? That was an NG. That was an extremely easy battle. Jason over there healed up. They have really high, uh, really high combat already. They already leveled up once. Now they do 10% more damage than that. It's really why they just made such quick work of the enemy crew right there. I think I can afford one more jump before going to the exit. Let's see, there's an offer. Let's be stuck. Yeah, I'll agree to rescue it. And that store might be our store that has drone control. Anything here? I can repair. I'll repair uh, five damage. It's cheap. I'm pretty sure damage costs more to repair in the third sector. I think it costs three instead of two. And of course, I don't want to go to the Zoltan. I don't want to try to avoid them. So I'm going to go to the Nebula. Although I'm not going to be able to see what's on the enemy ship. Although I never really could because I didn't have sensors. And that quest is far away. I don't even know if I'll be able to make it. Four jumps, maybe I can make it before the Rebel Fleet comes, but. I'm not exactly sure. Let's see, they don't have a med bay. That's my biggest concern. So I will go and head go for the hull. And they have an NG. Two NGs. <laughs> I think that's all they have. Should be simple enough. Hopefully I can hit this before their missile fires. And their missile's still gonna fire. Oh well. Maybe I'll kill him before the missile fires. And I did. Ooh. Burst laser mark three. That's that's an excellent weapon. I mean I think the burst laser mark two is better. It's it's a lot more efficient in terms of energy, time, and well, energy to shots fired. As well as time to shots fired. It's just more efficient, although it's pretty rare to get two burst lasers. Two burst lasers, Mark II, that is. I can definitely use that later on, though. Uh, I'll go ahead and... And I'll board them. Do they have a medbay? They don't. Let's see, what do they have? They have two Manti. This could be dangerous if I board, because if they... Shot their hull missile... Actually, I'm just going to go on board. That's either a hull missile or a breach missile. But I'm going to go ahead. Go at their pilot. See if we get cool stuff. I think we can take two Manti. Or they only have one Mantis. So let's open everything up.
actually forgot to use my my weapons, which is kind of silly of me. I need to. That was actually really stupid of me to forget to. So turn off the oxygen while all of our while all of our doors were open, and uh, we also got this is one benefit of of getting or killing off the crew. You will sometimes get extra crew member that join you, crew members that join you, and that was a Zoltan, which is uh, very useful actually. I'm going ahead and I'm gonna go put him. Um, in preferably I would have had them in engines but I'm gonna go put them in uh, weapons why I say it's preferable to put them in engines is because with things like weapons and shields which take a uh, it's like a non-consistent amount of well shields is consistent but it's non like for them to function sometimes it takes for instance two power to power up a weapon or four power to power up a a weapon or and it takes two for shields. Sometimes it can be a bit weird when you lose you take damage and you're 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 taking damage on your weapons or your shields. And suppose I had four shield bars and I took one then I would only have one bar of sh I'd only have one layer of shields up, but I would be powering three bars which is unnecessary if I had the Zoltan because I had the Zoltan in there if I had the Zoltan in the engines then I wouldn't have that problem but then again it's really not that big of an issue I hope I can make it let's go ahead and board them this is an easy fight it looks looks like they have an NG too so I'm definitely not afraid of that. Man, that is... Very easy battle. Could get our gas back. Oh, I can make it, that's sweet. And I can get out of here too. Let's see, I have a lot of scrap. Might get another layer of shields, but I'm gonna save just in case after their quest. There's a there's a shop with drone control because I'm gonna want that because the hull repair basically negates all need for negates all need for repairs, and it it saves a lot of money in the end. Okay, they have a pretty, uh, pretty. They have the same weapons as us. They have a pretty decent fight. Although it's only one person, should be able to take care of him easily. Gonna first go for the med bay, and then I will. Okay, send my troops over. They ended up halberding us. still halberding us but we got it and uh someone patched our hull which is excellent and we have the drone control there so i'm gonna go ahead and get that repair everything i can sell i do not need two system re repair drones in fact i only don't need any that i don't think they're that useful what i'm gonna do is put my hull repair on uh that's great do i want sensors actually i'm gonna go ahead Upgrade shields, because I'm going to need that for the next sector, especially. Unless there's another shop by ne nearby. No, this is a distress. I always check if there's a shop nearby if I'm at a shop, because that seems to happen a lot where they're right next to each other. I 
the halberd beam and the burst laser can work well together. You have exactly enough for two laser shields, so I'm going to go ahead and get those. Let's go to the stress signal. And we have a blue option for the NG. Always take it, really. And we got some resources. Let's attack the pirate. They have... Okay, so they have a drone. Although, they can't get past their shields. It's just the the breach laser that's uh, problematic and they only have one layer of shield so I'm not that scared I'm gonna go ahead and use the halberd on med bay shields and weapons because I want to get rid of those really want to get rid of the, the med bay and the weapons don't want to do too much damage before I board because that can be dangerous And, my crew over. and they have a Zoltan, so this should be very simple. Well, easy. Actually, they have an anti personnel drone, which could be problematic. So I'm going to. The Zoltan is close to dead, so I'm going to go repair this. I took down their drone system. And is that the last of their crew? I have to take one more whole thing. Yeah, that, that was a lot of damage. But I got a Breach Bomb Mark too. Wow, I'm getting a lot of good weaponry here. This is excellent. Breach, uh, Breach Bomb Mark II is like a complete upgrade to Breach Bomb Mark One, And weirdly enough, it, only, it also... Uh, costs the same at the store they're both 70 and i'm kind of confused why they did that but Bre breach bomb mark ii is, is one of my favorite weapons uh that uses up a missile to be honest does three personnel damage and three system damage as well as breaches which could work very well for our boarding crew and well the damage isn't that big of a deal so because like watch this i'm gonna go ahead and use the whole repair it gives you a random uh, number of three to five health. So here we got four and five. So we got the max right there, which is very nice. Um, getting three to five health in exchange for a drone part is basically always worth it. It's always a better deal than buying repairs at the store. And we have an Ion Storm. I hate these. Is this a... Let's go search. <laughs> Oh my god! So many ridiculous weapons! We have a Burst Laser Mark III and a Glaive Beam. And Breach Mark II. Oh my god. Well. <sighs> Jesus. Okay, well. I don't know what to do, actually. I can go for just straight all weapons, but... Honestly, Burst Laser Mark III and Glaive Beam... Although they're good, they're not the best together for things that have four ships, but uh, four shields. But I'm gonna go ahead and switch the breach for the small bomb. I, there's no need for me to use that instead. I think I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade weapons. And I'll use, I think I'll use the Glaive Beam instead of the Halberd and keep the basic laser. Wow. I was, I'm glad I went here. <laughs> Almost regretted it when I saw Ion Storm because these things, they wreck me. I have actually have more power than is necessary because... I have. Is that an empty personnel? Of course it is. Because I got a Zoltan, I didn't really account for that. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get rid of the drones. 
Do a little reworking so I can. So close battles every time. I get a little nervous. Damn, they want to kill that engine, that's for sure. Two breaches, though, really? I hope they don't die on the way. Oh, okay, they don't. I'm gonna go ahead and... Ah, <laughs> oh, stupid me, I was... I forgot about my NG. Damn it, that's... that hurts actually a lot. That NG was probably really high on... Engines. Ah, oh. should have went a little bit slower. It's not the end of the world. I can probably buy another NG because we are doing well, nonetheless. Poor Lila. She's a good, good engineer. Took good care of the the, the lobster roll. It's all right. We can move on. We have a we still have four crew, so it's not really exactly deficit. I'm going to go ahead and put stick on engines, which is ideal. And there's a store, so I might be able to get some mercenaries. So stupid. I feel like an idiot. Go ahead. There's nothing there. I'm going to get some more scrap. Because we wouldn't be able to afford an engineer. And here's our ion storm. What I'm going to do is fire up the glaive beam. And wait until I destroy Put my Zoltan in there. I'm gonna sacrifice all of my I put my Zoltan in the oxygen, so I powered that up. Okay, now that that's down, I'm going to go ahead and... Send my troops over. Only three humans. That'd have been kind of cool if they gave the. Oh, no, who's another crew member? They gave the rebel ships like other other aliens uh, other than humans. And we both, we have two uh, excellent fighters now. So we have a pretty beastly boarding crew. 20% damage bonus, that's, that's nothing to scoff at. Definitely not something to scoff at. Let's go see if we can get some crew. An engineer would be perfect. And nice, John, Ca Cal John Caldwell. Gonna go ahead and purchase him. I'm gonna sell a bunch of stuff, don't need the halberd. Don't need the small bomb. I can actually. Kind of tempted to get cloaking to sell my Burst Laser Mark III, which would probably make a lot of you angry because I know a lot of people like the Burst Laser Mark III, but I don't like it all that much. But. Really, it'd be unrealistic to use both the glaive, glaive and the burst laser mark three. Oh, uh, maybe not. I'll try to. I'll try to go for a maxed, uh, a maxed weapons ship. 
just cost so much money. I'm gonna need 200 and 265 more scrap before I get that. But for now, I will just increase my dodge chance. Use my hull repair drone. Might want to get a defense drone later on too. Okay, let's get out of here. One more jump before we leave. There's borders, which I'm not really that scared of. Let's go. Oh, uh, Caldwell. Actually, I'm gonna put Caldwell on on uh, weapons. It's quick work of those people. Get Ferrari and Jason back up to health, and let's jump. Go to the exit. Let's see what there is for sectors. No special event there. Civilian or slug? I'm going to go ahead and go to slug. Because they generally don't have that difficult of, of ships, it seems. Or of crew, that is. There's another store. I don't really need it. I could use another hull repair drone. Let's use the blue, and we got another Zoltan. Sweet. That's nice to have that teleporter. Zoltan's going to go to shields. Do I want the shield? Oh, Zoltan to go to weapons. I think it's fine. Nikos and Stick can do engines and shields, and Caldwell over there can go to weapons. Actually, I'm going to go the other way around, because I think it's more important to uh, keep shields up instead of weapons in case there's a situation where they both both systems got damaged. So I'm going to put the, the NG on shield so he can repair that quicker if the situation arises. And they do not have a med bay, so I'm going to go ahead and send my people there. They do have three layers of shields, though, which is pretty intense. What I will do is use the glaive beam to get down both their... Both their weapons and shields. Hit, which is good. I actually killed them before their missile went off. That's excellent. And I got another shield charge booster. Well, I got one in the last. Uh, I got confused. I got a shield charge booster in the last place. But, um, I actually decided, since we have a pretty good run going, I'm going to go ahead and cut this run through, it, this uh, playthrough into two parts. So, because I feel like it's going to be a long one. I don't want to have a super long video at the, uh, to upload. So I will split it in two. So, uh, if, if again, if you guys liked it, please like it. If you guys want to see more FTL videos and when Ad Advanced Edition comes out, I will go ahead and have a Let's Play series of that. So if you want to see that stuff, you can go ahead and subscribe. And uh, if you have any constructive comments or suggestions for my videos to improve them, I will gladly appreciate it in the comments. I'm the Modern Shoe, and I'll, go, I'll see you guys next time.